This is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I want to take you for a video walkthrough on board Port Divino 2. She's a Fountain Peugeot Samana 59, currently available for charters in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, if you've been following this channel for a while, you may remember Port Divino 1, which was a Fountain Peugeot Impanema 58. Well, this is the same owner with the same crew, uh, possibly some of my favorite crew on, on any crewed yacht catamaran. Uh, but the reason though I think this boat is worth showing, even though it's not for sale, is just all of the cool aftermarket stuff that's been done to the boat. I mean, Jeff, the captain, is incredibly experienced, incredibly knowledgeable, and this is a really, really nice Samana 59. So I'm going to have a link in the description down below to the charter site for this boat. So definitely check it out for some more information. If you're interested in buying a boat like a Samana 59 or chartering a boat like a Samana 59, definitely leave a comment down below, shoot us an email. And as always, if you like what we have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day. Okay, we're gonna begin here on the port sugar scoop on Port Tavino. She's a brand new Samana 59. So much work has gone into this. Jeff, the captain, this is the second boat he's been on for this owner, and he's done a phenomenal job outfitting it. And it starts even here at the transom with these uh, transom extenders, a larger uh, dive style ladder, and then a nice step making it very easy to hop aboard. Through here, we have the first of two mechanical spaces, and then through the cockpit, we have access to the crew cabin. I'm gonna give you guys a quick pano here of the cockpit, which we're gonna come back to after we make our way around the foredeck. So you'll see on the Samana 59, it's very much like the um, Allegria 67 and all of the current models. Um, I think I think Fountain Peugeot has done a really good job just keeping some continuity across the uh, brand. Now this is a huge upgrade in my opinion over the Impanema 58, which this is the replacement for. And in fact, the owners of this boat replaced their Impanema 58 with the Samana 59. So you got the factory installed bow sprit, split trampoline, forward cockpit. It is about to dump down with rain here. Double spreader rig. You'll see the Garmin radar up there. So it's got a full Garmin electronics package. And there's storage, you know, not only do we have the windless, whoops, sorry, camera went a little crazy, windless uh, access through there, but we also have a four peak over on the starboard side, as well as one underneath the port side here, which have both been fitted out for storage, as well as storage underneath the, uh, the Ford cockpit here. I just love the way a new boat feels when you walk on it. Making our way down the starboard weather deck, I'll give you guys a kind of a quick pano here from this angle. Really well laid out boat. So we're gonna make our way back into the cockpit and I'm just gonna point out some of the custom features that they did on this particular boat that you won't see on any of the other Samana 59. So they had a lot of this work done in St. Martin and uh, they're very happy with the quality of work done and, and they should be. So the first thing is, starting back here on the transom this is the uh, first fountain peugeot where they actually put a folding lift similar to what you find on the lagoons and so they're able to put a much larger tender on here with a larger outboard than the the standard factory lift it's also been upgraded to a dual strap setup and uh, i mean in general i mean that's just a badass tender with the jl uh, speaker pods there really nice uh, you know, Captain Jeff wouldn't be anywhere without, uh, wouldn't go sailing anywhere without a, you know, a, uh, a green egg style grill. So of course he's got one mounted here. He reconfigured the wet bar where he moved the sink over here. And he actually raised this uh, wet bar here. So they were able to put a large isotherm refrigerator as well as storage underneath there. And you'll see, I mean, there's just a ton of storage. We've got storage here. We've got storage underfoot, storage underneath here. I mean, just a ton of storage. So I'll give you guys a quick pano through the space. So we've got plenty of room for, you know, they've got it set for six, but you could easily sit eight people at that table. Let's go ahead and make our way up, up to the flybridge. Making our way up to the flybridge, you'll see it's very, very similar to the Allegria 67 um, in that we've got, uh, you had nice large seating area, a big hard top over the helm, as well as two large day beds aft. 
Over here on the starboard side, we've got, whoop, went a little quick there. We've got two drawer style isotherm fridges, same thing like the bar down below. They actually had this modified so they could fit those isotherm fridges in there. Um, and, and I think it's a brilliant, brilliant setup. So we've got a center line helm with a uh, custom, you know, uh, bolster style seat, something you would find on, uh, you know, more like a center console or a sport fish, but incredibly comfortable. And this is, I think, what amazed me when I was sitting up here yesterday, is I love the fact that you've got incredibly good visibility forward um, from the helm and just good lines of sight all around. With all the sail controls coming right back here to the helm and all of the winches are powered winches. Let's go ahead and make our way back down into the cockpit and we'll check out the interior. Okay, making our way here into the salon. Over on the port side, we've got a nice large L-shaped galley with an island. Way bigger than what was in the Impanema 58. And, I mean, completely different side as well. Storage down below, full-size dishwasher in here, dual basin sink. We've got a, a, is that a microwave, convection yeah. oven? Yeah, combo. Combo unit up top. Five burner cooktop as well as an oven. Got drawer style isotherm fridges, assuming a That's freezer. A fridge. Oh, fridge there. Yeah, this one's a freezer. You can have the Oh, option. wow. So, freezer, freezer fridges, fridge. So, the, from the factory, you have the option to choose whatever you want. Right. Okay. So, then uh, wine fridge, nice little coffee bar, wet bar up four to the galley. Just like all of the boats now, she's got a forward cockpit with the front door to access. Got a nav station here, a proper nav station, which is nice. It seems like a lot of the modern boats have moved away from a nav station. This boat's also equipped with lithium batteries, so they're able to uh, run the aircon off of the batteries like they're doing right now. And then starboard aft, we have a nice large uh, interior seating area uh, if you want to do dining inside, although most of the meals will be had outside. Going to make our way down the port companionway and check out the two guest staterooms here. So all the berths are uh, queen size semi walk around berths. Really nicely appointed. A lot of natural light even on a rainy day coming in. On the outboard side, we've got the head with a separate shower stall forward. Continuing up on the port side, we've got the second semi walk around guest cabin with the head all the way forward. Then we're going to pop across the salon, look at the third guest stateroom, as well as the owner's stateroom. So starboard forward, we've got the third stateroom, guest stateroom, which uh, mirrors what we saw in the port forward, port forward cabin with the uh, head and sh separate shower stall forward. Last but definitely not least, we have the owner's stateroom on board, Portavino. Such an improvement over the uh, Impanema 58. I mean, the Impanema 58 had a great owner's stateroom, but I mean, this space is just absolutely fantastic. We've got access to the cockpit through here. On the outboard side, we have the shower, we have the water closet, on the inboard side, we have plenty of storage, as well as the sink. So there you go, that's Portavino, the 2023 Samana 59, currently available for charter here in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. If you have any questions on the boat, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and have a good day.